DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.racelibrary.com Hi everybody, I'm Professor Mohamed Sharaf with you. Uh, today, uh, we are going to talk about uh, concentrated solar power, um, uh, mainly solar organic Rankine cycles for uh, uh, multi-stage flash, uh, brand cycle configuration desalination. Uh, um, what is the main concept? Uh, what is the main operating conditions? Um, how can we run our model? Let's go and see uh, what we can do about that. Uh, first of all, uh, the main concept is that solar cell power is directly uh, transmitted from solar uh, field, but mainly parabolic trough collector, uh, via boiler heat exchanger unit, uh, in order to power on uh, uh, organic Rankine cycle. Uh, organic Rankine cycle mm, it shows a, a positive behavior on TS diagram, therefore it's. Uh, it's favorable for such configuration as the process is implemented according to the, op the operation of parabolic trough co collector we're going to operate uh, PTC parabolic trough collector via uh, heat transfer oil uh, I do recommend the terminal VB1 heat transfer oil we have also a heat exchanger unit as an intermediate unit and the desalination uh, process so we can uh, uh, set our cycle in, or uh, divide our cycle, uh, divide our cycle uh, by three main uh, sections or parts. The first is parapoctra collector, which is going to transfer or convert solar thermal power in, into uh, the fluid going through the parapoctra collector. Uh, boiler heat exchanger unit as an intermediate unit and bumping system. Uh, this is a terminal uh, bump. Uh, the intermediate unit is an organic rank cycle, which contains um, a boiler heat exchanger unit as an intermediate, a turbine unit, a uh, recuperator because of the exit condition for uh, exit turbine condition is still in the superheat region, therefore, we can regenerate. Uh, the exhausted um, uh, steam uh, to re after before rebumping again to the boiler heat exchange unit in order to uh, save uh, energy. And we have condenser unit. Condenser is the key, key rule in this part because it's uh, uh, it's going to play two parts: condensation for uh, for the organic rank cycle and a brain heater unit for the desalination uh, plant. And the steam uh, and uh, steam cycle bump, and we have here the third part is the desalination itself. It's multi-stage flash, brine recycle configuration. This is a design model, so therefore we have to configure the outlet stream in order to discover the entire uh, data for uh, uh, each part or each unit, um, such as areas, mass flow rates, pressures, um, and thermo uh, uh, thermophysical properties like uh, enthalpies, entropies, uh, and so on. Uh, the main operating condition is uh, we are going to design it uh, 5000 meter cube per day. Um, solar radiation, I will con consider it for winter. Uh, it's up to you it's, uh, to, uh, to change this operating conditions. Spiritual ratio for brain cycle. We are not going to talk about the multi stage flash because we, we, we already uh, done a video about this before. Uh, Top brain temperature from 90 up to uh, 130 is at the maximum in order to avoid the uh, scale and effects and uh, salt on the tubes. Uh, Brew down temperature at 34. Uh, see, uh, see we are going to discover this dynamically, uh, changing this and see the effect on gear ratio and as other uh, design aspects you can uh, uh, deal with. Uh, okay, for our model, uh, we have to discover uh, uh, design aspects that solar field area, mounts, and so on, energy streams, exergetic streams, 
and thermo economic stream. Okay, go, go to your destination folder after we download it. Go to your destination from here. Specify your this and uh, double click on this one in order to run your model. Okay, your model should be appear like this. It's okay. This is your model. Okay, double clicking here, uh, you will find the following. Uh, you can specify solar radiation, ambient temperature, uh, outlet uh, temperature from uh, the parabolic tarp collector, a turbine uh, uh, LED temperature. We are going to use, um, actually, we, are, we use Tolwin in organic rank cycle because Tolwin is like a water, but it is not like water in, 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 in pressure. Therefore, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it shows a, a, a good behavior on TS diagram. Therefore, uh, uh, let's go and see if we assign this as uh, 300. And you can uh, control your uh, productivity. It's okay. Okay, this is your uh, plant cycle. Okay. We have here a uh, parabolic tariff collector. Let's go and assign some inputs. It's okay, I will keep this. Hydraulic mass flow rate, collector design aspects, segment lens, uh, and so on. Keep this. And this is boiler heat exchanger intermediate unit. Uh, inner tube diameter, outer tube diameter, chill, chill diameter. I'm going for, suppose it's uh, one meter, chill tube. And this performance is a, a point eighty uh, percent effective. That's okay. And this is a bombing system for uh, uh, for parabolic trough collector. Uh, seventy five for organic ring cycle. Seventy five. It's okay. You can easily control this turbine unit. It's okay. And and this is um, a recuperator unit for regeneration you have to assign your effectiveness and this is a condenser unit as a brain heater this is a double acting uh, uh, double acting job you have to assign uh, uh, some inputs condensation temperature if you are going to working on um, uh, 125 130 you have to adjust condensation temperature uh, for the for the brain heater, it will control uh, the outlet condition of the turbine unit. Um, some uh, some design aspects, performance, or effectiveness. We can go for suppose it's point point eight. Okay, let's go and see for multi stage fillers. It's, uh, this is a cost uh, analysis block. You you can adjust some inputs. I'll keep this. I'm not going to talk about cost right now. Okay, for multi stage fillage, uh, uh, you, you can uh, adjust uh, uh, seawater temperature, LH water temperature. I'm going for 20 or maybe uh, it for winter. Uh, top brain temperature, uh, top brain temperature, uh, let's go for 100 and uh, suppose it 25 this is salinity uh, salinity ratio this is feed salinity and this is brine salinity okay I'll keep this last is this temperature it's, uh, I'll keep it at 34 that's okay okay this is splitter ratio feed seawater splitter ratio number of stages I'm going for 20 stages and heat recovery of course is uh, three stages and you can change if you want uh, you can study the effect of increasing the number of uh, heat rejection stages uh, heat recovery because this is three you have to this is for, uh, 20 minus 3 is 17 it's okay and the rest is okay Efficiencies of bombing system and cost of power. Okay, keep this. Uh, I'm going for uh, one. Uh, set your time simulation time up to zero because we are going to discover a single point uh, run. 
the program is uh, uh, is going to run uh, iteratively. I mean, there is a for loop in order to calculate uncertainties, and this uh, the program is uh, um, will adjust itself uh, in order to bring you uh, your accurate results. Let's go and see. Uh, for example, I'm going to check uh, uh, multi stage flash first. Okay. Let's hit run and see. Uh, or the turbine unit. I, I, I need to check the outlet conditions of the turbine unit first of all. Let's hit run. Okay. Uh, we are going to uh, for 5000 uh, meter cubic day we are going to deliver uh, around uh, 11,000 kilowatts this is much uh, this is uh, huge and, and this is mass flow rate through the cycle in salvi of the tall wind uh, in Turobi, uh, and so on for uh, for recuperating on it, let's go and see. Yes, this is outlet. Uh, yes, this is L steam temperature to the to the condenser unit. It's around one hundred and thirty-eight, nearly thirty-nine degrees Celsius. Uh, this is this is going. This is a stream that is responsible for the steam uh, generation or thermal power generation to, uh, to the brain heater. This is going for the brain heater, and you can discover areas and and so on, uh, area of the recuperator, thermal power, and so on. Uh, let's go for the brain heater or condenser unit. Yes, condensation is one hundred. Uh, and and, and uh, 123 as i think so this is a yes this is inlet condenser inlet condenser temperature okay inlet condenser let's go for uh, the multi-stage flash let's go and see okay Okay, you can uh, here you can discover the following. Okay, uh, this is total feed flow rate, and uh, this is makeup feed. Okay, um, feed loss, uh, brine uh, loss, uh, recycle stream. This is recycle stream. The recycle stream is is here. Uh, this this is recycle stream. As you can see here, this is recycle stream. It's going to the upper st upper stages condenser, and this is for uh, uh, it's going to uh, to get the heat from the steam. This is the steam. Top brain temperature is here, and responsible for uh, the brain load uh, at each stage. As you can see here, okay. Schematically, yes. Uh, brain, this is uh, brain loss, uh, brain recycle. Uh, this is serenity of the recycle stream. Uh, brain, to, uh, brain feed to the mixer. Uh, total brain loss. This total brain loss. Is, this is the second splitter ratio we are going to discover. And this profiles uh, for 17 stages, as you can see. Prime profile, distribute profile. And surely you can uh, you can give us if some this is brain for example brain profile let's see as you can see here this is this is brain profile and uh, we have many yes this is profile this is profile this is accumulated uh, accumulated and this one yes. Uh, let's go and see. You can discover this is a gate height. This is gate height. Gate height. Okay. Uh, stage height. And so on. You can discover many parameters. This top, top brain temperature profile for 
for all stages, for 20 stages. And this is for 17 stages. And this is feed profile for, for all stages. And this is for all stages. Recycle profile for 17 stages. And so on. You can discover many, many parameters and you can uh, change uh, what you would like to, uh, to change. And this is thermoeconomics. This is thermoeconomic uh, product cost. Uh, at, 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 at this situation, you are going, uh, the cost streams, total cost streams through the, the whole plant will cost you uh, 1.3 uh, US dollar per gigajoule. Um, as a total and this is a uh, bumps uh, flow rates and bumps power this is brain power uh, it's 88 kilowatt brain blue down distrib bump uh, feed bump uh, uh, feed bump is going to uh, sure consume much much power and this is distrib bump uh, recycle stream bump this is this this it is almost uh, around uh, this is in this is 38 kilowatts okay and the pressure drop per, uh, per each pump okay let's go for parabolic trough for parabolic trough we are going to this is our area here this is the area uh, consumption Reynolds number number of loops number of solar field collectors Exergetic surge in uh, cost streams and so on. For this, for brine uh, uh, boiler heat exchanger uh, thermodynamic unit, outlet oil in Salvi, outlet temperature, outlet favor, uh, and so on. The pressure, uh, mass flow rate, sort of the solar field, area of the boiler heat exchanger unit, and exergetic irreversibility rate. Uh, I mean, exergy destruction rate. I mean, okay, this is a bump. This heat transfer oil bump. Um, power consumption is uh, 273 kilowatts. And this is turbine unit. This is the, the power production is around uh, 11 megawatts. It's a huge power. This is recuperator unit, which is covered before, condenser unit, mass flow rate, and the condenser. This is outlet, uh, outlet pressure and the uh conditions. Bombing unit for uh, the tall wind, 300 kilowatt. Okay. Okay, for performance analysis, this cost analysis, you can discover operating and maintenance cost for mustache flash, for solar field, for uh, boiler heat exchanger, uh, heat evaporator, I mean boiler heat exchanger, condenser, recuperator, bump, uh, turbine costs, uh, operating costs, uh, total annual costs, uh, unit product cost for uh, for uh, the destination parts only, total brand cost. This is total auto price. This this price you are going to sell your product, and this is feed cost, uh, twenty US dollar per hour. Okay, uh, uh, I mean you can sure you can. Uh, we, uh, let's try to run this uh, dynamically. Just we are going to discover uh, only the effect of prime blue down temperature. Let's go and see. Uh, I, I forget to. Yes, this is performance. Specific solar area. Um, uh, uh, this is collector thermal total power. A specific power consumption. And uh, this is a specific thermal energy consumption. This is uh, gain ratio or performance ratio. The performance ratio. Uh, this is um, total exergy efficiency, total irreversibility or total exergy destruction rate. Okay, let's go and discover some uh, some uh, run dynamically. I mean, and go here. Let's go to inside and discover the effect on brine blue down or temperature profile. 
are going to make some changes close this one okay let's hit run dynamically okay let's change uh brine blue down temperature uh, yes where is brine blue down i'm sure i guess to brine temperature yes this one that's a change i'm increasing brine blue down yes increasing this this parameter is so important uh, if you if you make any change it, it will be followed by many many changes in your cycle as you can see here I'm trying to increase it up to uh, 45 45 and see uh, let's stop here okay let's go and discover okay um, let's go uh, here as you can see here uh, specific bulb consumption yes this is the effect of uh, a changing uh, blue down temperature I'm trying to uh, from 4 up to 8 I'm make it from 5 yes this is a change in uh, uh, specific bulk consumption regarding to the change to the uh, uh, brain blue down temperature uh, yes uh, gear ratio performance ratio total exergetic rate um, uh, there's we need to discover uh, on brain profile let's see on brain profile yes stage by stage yes stage by stage as you can see here for there's many changes here okay this total cost I'm going for for 500 up to 700 as I can see here maybe for 1000 oh it doesn't show anything uh, total price Yes, total price, water price. This is a change in uh, a total water price. You can see, and now this, you can. This is a splitter ratio results. Splitter ratio results. I'm going for. Yes. Okay. Recycle stream, and this is brain loss stream, and this is loss feed stream makeup feed stream uh, total feed stream just slightly changes okay so uh, um, it's clear now that we can uh, we have a solar organic rank cycle model uh, you you can uh, discover more working fluids it's up to you we can change this we can add more working fluids we can add toluene we can add pentane butane uh, but we uh, based on our experience before uh, we are glad to say that toluene is favorable it can uh, generate much much power because it's it's uh, uh, it's uh, it, it have a, a sharp sharp a behavior on uh, a positive slope TS diagram therefore we reco do recommend toluene uh, also heat transfer oil through the solar feed it's favorable because it's it's low pressure uh, working flow there is no fear or, or or to be afraid about your tubes uh, pressure stresses or or something like this it can be used for direct vapor generation also you can use toluene for direct vapor generation without any need for intermediate uh, 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 unit such as prime heat exchanger uh, uh, unit 
Okay, finally, don't forget to download our other power cycle, such as fuel cell for reverse osmosis or geothermal energy for reverse osmosis or photovoltaic and uh, vertical wind turbine, and many, many uh, uh, cycles, a thermal power cycle or renewable energy cycle you can discover or deal with. Um, thank you very much for your interest. Uh, uh, don't forget to like and share, subscribe. Uh, let's level the com. Thank you very much.